You know, just, just really just being brotherly, loving brothers and, um, you know, considering and taking care of brothers right now. Brothers have, uh, you know, you, you you know, you might have a brother, you know, he ain't as strong in the faith, right? You know, as a brother, you're supposed to help that brother, right? And, you know, you just, you know and that's, that's a labor of love, right? You know, so is doing these videos, you know, going out there on the streets. I mean, here it's starting to get cold now, man. Right, but, you know, through the power of the Abashim, El Shai, Lord Will, right, we gon' we going to still be there pushing out this word, right? This is Luke twenty two thirty two. It says, but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not, right? This is Yahweh El Shai speaking, right, to um, uh, 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 Simon Peter. Right, in fact, let me read into this verse 31. It says, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. Right. Now if um you know if I can grab this real quick. This is uh first Peter five and eight it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as roaring lion walketh about seeking whom whom he may devour, right? So Satan's still going around. That's what the word adversary, um, uh, Satan means, means adversary, right? Satan still walking around trying to take brothers out the truth, right? But in this case, yeah, uh, yeah, I said unto Simon, look, man, Satan wants you, right? Uh, but I have prayed for you that thy faith fell not. Right? So I've prayed that, I uh, would call it, you know, you don't get taken out of the way. And sometimes you would you call it, you you know you might say a brother wavering you know you pray for that brother, right? You know that's that's also a label love like Lord you know our, our brother was going through something difficult or whatever, you know strengthen them so they can overcome that, or you know you might see a brother's uh, uh, uh what would you call it he's into something that ain't you know it ain't going off but it ain't good for this truth you be like hey Lord you know Bubba Kasha. Right, you know, you get that spirit off the brother, man, you know, so that he can, uh, uh, you know, go harder for this truth. You know, might see him wavering, right? And this is what I said, um, well, as the scripture says, it says, But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fall not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren, right? So when, you know, when you've got, you know, when you're built up in the faith, right, when you've, uh, 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 what do you call it, when you've grown a bit, Right, you know, you 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 have, you know, you have younger brothers or whatever, what have you, you know, whatever, whatever, you, you, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, trying to find the right words, right? But you might have, you know, brothers, you might be going through things like I said, and you just help them, man, right? You know, hey, how how you doing, brother? You know, checking up on them, right? You know, and that's um, what do you call it? You know, that's, that's, that's what has been done for us, right? You know, brothers above all of us, you know, when we came in, you know, but your older brothers might have seen, hey, look, man, you know, this brother, you know, might be going through something, you give you, hey, just, you know, chat to you in the corner, has everything all right, brother? You know, <laughs> give you them um, words of comfort, man. Not do these scriptures, right? It says Hebrews 13 and 1, it says, let brotherly love continue right you know the love for the that you have for the brother let it continue right you know I, I, and there's many different ways of showing love right this is john 13 34 says a new commandment i give unto you that you love one another so we're commanded to love one another right we also read it says he that hateth his brother is a murderer Right, so we're supposed to love one another, and if we have issues, we're supposed to sort those issues out immediately, lest they fester, and uh, 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 what do you call it, and get worse. And then before you know it, you're all sideways glancing your brother, which is going off. Right, it says, uh, so now I say unto you, a new commandment. I sorry, so it says a new co commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. 
that you also love one another. Right? So how shall I love does? Right. So a hey, you know, Lord will be of the elect. Right. See so, how shall I love does? Right. It's the very least we knew is love our brother. Right. It says by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love one to another. And this is a true statement. Right. People in the world can see the love that brothers have for one another. That's why a woman, one of the reasons your woman gets jealous, because she can see, look, man, this guy actually loves someone else more than I do, more than, sorry, more than he loves me, right? Which is why when you, when you read the story of David and, and uh, 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 Jonathan, right, King David, he uh, uh, loved uh, uh, Jonathan more than uh, the love of women, as it says, right? And, you know, brotherly love, that's some strong shit, man. Right? This is Romans 12 and 10. Be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love. In honour preferring one another. Right? In fact, I don't know. This is not slothful in business. Fervent in spirit. Serving the Lord. Right? Rejoicing in hope. Patient in tribulation. Continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality, right, so hey, that's, 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 that's beautiful everything there, right, for being fervent in spirit, you know, I'm praising the Lord, serving the Lord, right? I'm continuing in prayer, right? I'm being, hosp you know, hospitable, right, the Lord sees all of that, you know, and especially if, you know, doing it to the, you know, or, or of course, you know, doing it to the brethren, Right, Ephesians 4 and 2 says, with all lowliness and meekness and with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Right, and I look up that forbearing, says, bear with, endure. Right, because it ain't going to be easy. End of the day, you, you've, you know, you've put a whole bunch of men, right, and, and uh, would you call it, that have come from this world, and this world's all dog, you know, doggy dog, you know, uh, what I want. You know, um, you know my thing first, right? Because we're all in the process of shedding the old man, right? This is um, yeah. So it ain't gonna be easy, right? You're gonna you're gonna clash heads, right? But you know you you're gonna have to overcome those differences, you know, with love, right? Because endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace, right? So there is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called. Uh, in one hope of all your calling, right? So, hey, if there's one, uh, uh, what do you call it? If there's a uh, 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 one body, right? You can't hate a part of your body, right? You you gotta love all of it. Lest that part of your body withers away and die, and now you're disabled, right? And then a new uh, member has to grow, right? This is First Peter three and eight. It says, finally, be all of one mind. Having compassion one to another, right? Compassion, right? You know, understanding what it is that our brother is going through. And in that comes mercy as well, right? And your brother might be going through certain things, might act out, but, you know, you, you, may, you may be like, you know, brother's going through some shit, right? But if he acts out, you know, too far, he's, you know, you be like, okay, but I know you're going through some stuff, but there ain't a reason for you to, to be doing X, Y, and Z. Right, you know, cause you know, you know, Jay, Jay get emotional. He be like, oh, you know, I was going through. You know, if you don't explain things to Jay, oh, like, oh, I was going through things where all man was doing was getting on me. Right, but if you explain to him, look, I know you're going through things, but where you're acting is, you know, out of out of order. Then that's uh, uh what you call it? That's you know, it's, it's better when that you know that all comes with time. You know, dealing with brethren and all of that comes with time. Right, but compassion, one of another, love his brethren, be pitiful and courteous, not rendering evil for evil, right, or railing for raving, uh, but contrary wise blessing, right, knowing that ye are there unto cold, that ye should inherit a blessing, right, so, you know, wrong might be done to you, but, hey, a brother's a brother, man, right, you know, just take it, and then, you know, it is what it is. Right, and Lord's all you can get over whatever it is that you know you and that brother have been through. So Lord's all that was edifying. Just a quick one on um and what do you call it, you know, a brotherhood, loving the brothers, 
and I, I would recruit strength them brothers, right? Because we all need it. We all need it, right? We've, we've all been there where you've had to call up a brother and just vent. And then guess what happened? Hey, scriptures say, oh, how well and how good it is for brethren to dwell in unity in the Psalms. Right? Psalms 133 and 1, roughly paraphrasing. Right? So lose all that was edifying and let brotherly love continue. Shalom, shalom.